Mesopotamia. Have you ever heard of this this area, Mesopotamia? Yes, from the okay, south. Where... <laughs> yes, okay. And whereabouts is it? Do you know? <laughs> uh, Middle East. I guess. Yes, very good, very good. Exactly. Yes, uh, Mesopotamia is around nowadays where Iran, Iraq, okay. uh, those Middle Eastern countries are. Broth. What is a broth? Broth, a uh, kind of soup. Yes, good. Yeah. Yes, you probably have broth quite often with noodles. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I remember I, I lived in Thailand for two years and okay. that was very popular with noodles. I loved it. In, in South Africa, we don't get this. It's sad. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> to do it properly. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so these are um, old stone tablets that they used to write on before they had papyrus or paper. Uh, have a look. I've sent you a link with some images there okay. of cuneiform tablets. It's how the ancient Mesopotamians used to write oh, their history. Oh, I know. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So Cunian is, uh, is a like word or something? Yes, yes. Uh, cun cuneiform. Um, it goes on to talk here about. Uh, there we go. Yale University is now home to these stone chisel tablets. Um, okay, if you read, let's read on, and it explains about cuneiform language. Yeah, so it's actually quite similar to Chinese. Well, uh, in 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 structure, it's more similar to Chinese language than English or European languages. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so read on. Yale University, please. Okay. Yale University is now home to the stone... Stone chisel. Chisel. Chisel, and where you use a hammer and a sharp object. Oh. And you chisel. <laughs> chisel. Tablet. Dating back to 3,700 to 2,700 years ago. Okay. okay sounds great. Right. 